welcome back guys to part two tutorial two hello hey of this um series where we are teaching you as a landscape designer the most efficient way to design on sketchup so uh part one we imported this this snippet of uh your client's maps house and um excuse me I just had a magnum it was amazing nice excuse me so we imported this um snippet from your client's house we went over it and we drew we drew all the fixed structures the housing and the wall and so forth so now guys we need to scale this accordingly as you can see we have clicked the one line there and it says there on the right hand side under entity info it says Two point three meters long, which is not true. I know, in actual fact, this line, this wall here, is meant to be twenty meters. So we need to scale this accordingly. And how do we do this? So you should have measured on site. Um, that should have been one of your measurements. If not, it's not a train smash. Let me show you a trick here, guys. This is what I'm here to do. I'm here to help you make your design, your design sketchups a lot easier. Go to Google. Type in one map. This is an amazing on a uh, web web based program, web based app. Um, it really, really is a lifesaver. Um, you are going to have to sign up, guys. It's easy stuff. If you don't know how to do it, let me know. Once again, I'll come and hold your hand, and we can do it step by step. Sign in. Once you've signed in, you get there. You click on one map under applications. Let's take a bit of time to get there. Now it's not the most user friendly. Um, it's a bit weird in fact. Um, under here you can choose if you have earth numbers, survey, general, key buildings, bonds, a city, subway, blah, blah, blah. I just keep it on the one street map. Um, and then type in whatever you want to type in, blah, 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 blah. And then you go find it, it's not going to find it. But then what you're going to do is you're going to find a house I'm telling you somewhere. Um, where can we go? Uh, okay. Now let's say this is your client's house here. So let's say we've drawn that out already, all up in SketchUp. That's your client's house. Choose this measure by line tool here. You know, go from one corner all the way to the other corner here. And then you know it's 40 meters. Boom. Oh! 40.17 meters. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back here. Now you're going to highlight all of this. You're going to right click. You're going to press make a group. The reason you're going to do this, I'll show you right now. Double click inside. Press T for tape measure. Now if you press T and no tape measure pops up, goes to your window, go to preferences, shortcuts. You know the process, go do it. I'm not gonna hold your hand every single time. Once is enough. If you don't remember, go back to the other video. Then you're gonna left click once here and left click once on this side. So you left click once, let's do that again. Left click once here, you see it's, you've only clicked once. Left click on the other side here, don't press anything. Check at the bottom right here, press 20. I know that wall, back wall is 20 meters long and you press enter. Do you want to resize the active group or component? Yes, we do. Enter, boom. Choose scale, guys. That's simple. Now all of these lines are according, are true. Are all truthful. So that wall is 20, that wall is 20 meters, that wall is 30.8 lines, probably about 31, but it's, it's so close, it's no need to change it. Okay, once you've done that, what you need to do is remember when you're looking at houses from a bird's eye view, if you've not done it by, if you have not done it by uh, measurements, if you have not done it by measurements on site and you're doing it the way I am currently doing it, remember from a bird's eye view, from a 2D pan, you are seeing the roof eaves. So the length of the roof as well, not the actual boundary, it's not the actual house walls. 
So you, what you're going to do is, I know these eaves are a meter, uh, half a meter in. So you're going to bring these in half a meter. And how do you do that? You're going to choose this offset tool. I don't have a hotkey for the offset tool. Choose the offset tool. And then what you do is you, so that has been highlighted, as you saw earlier. Let's highlight. You can actually explode this again. You don't need it to be in a group anymore. So you see it's clicked. You can choose the offset. So you can click here using the select key, then choose the offset key and offset accordingly. Or if you just choose the offset key and you haven't chosen anything, then choose the offset key and go there and then highlight automatically. So you're going to choose that offset key and you're going to type in 0.5 or whatever the eaves may be on that house. And the same right around. Same here. Five, and then 0.5 over there as well. And what you can do is you can actually delete. Five, let's check. No. Come on. Point 0.5. Okay, awesome stuff. I'm just going to finish off here. I just need you. What I also need to do is create a thicker boundary wall. So you're going to highlight all the boundary walls. You're going to choose your select tool and you're going to click on one line, holding shift, click on the next line. Oh, not that one. The next line, holding shift. Keep holding shift and click all those lines. Press the offset key and you're going to bring it out. Point. Two five. Okay. Delete that inside there. We know the gate is over here, so we're just going to mark it out. Boom. So yeah, just carry on marking out any sort of hard structures. Like I'm going to do now is this gate and the paving that goes down here. There we go. So that is pretty much it. This is also blocked off here. Even over there, and in actual fact, is a patio over there. So yeah. Oh, we can delete this. Just deleting the eaves now, because uh, we actually don't need that. You just need the boundary walls, guys. Boundary walls, not the eaves. Okay. So another hotkey that you're going to use quite often is E, which is the eraser. Um, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. That comes out here goes like that awesome i think i've got everything i just need to block this off there's a fence there and there is a fence over there awesome 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 okay done deal guys that's the next part um so now you've scaled it and you just finished off all the other structures what you can do now is the houses they have a double brick wall for nine inch, I know that's in America. America. Things here, it's 250 mils. So offset once again, 0.25. Oh. Okay, those are the double brick walls. Any other fixed features? I know there's stairs here for us. We have a set of stairs that come down like this. And there is a bit of a... What? A stop.
There we go. And that's what it currently looks like for us. Awesome, guys. So that's the next step. Just carry on fixing up all the, the, the fixed structures. Um, remember the hotkey of E for your razor. And um, yeah, just remember when you are doing it, my method, when you download images off one map and uh, off Google Maps, you see in the roof eaves. So you got to get rid of those roof eaves because you actually don't design along those roof eaves. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to be missing out on you know, maybe an extra two meters in length in certain areas, but that can add up very quickly in square meterage. Just make sure you get rid of that. Awesome stuff. Please like and subscribe um, for more awesome tutorials later on. Uh, catch us in the next one for part three. Cheers for now.